Okay, a little more complicated. Pi over x. Let me go back to black ink. Pi x. Whoops. Really screwing up, huh? Pi x minus pi over 2 equals 0. So x would equal, well, it looks pretty simple, 1 half. All right, where does it end? Pi x minus pi over 2 equals 2 pi. Pi x, a little more complicated, right? Uh, let's see, 5 halves. Uh, then we divide through by pi, x would be 5 halves. All right, so you, you got a, a ordering here that's, you know, 1 half, and then you got 5 halves. Add those two numbers together, divide by 2, that's going to be what? That's 6, 3 halves, right? Now, if you add 1 and 3 together, that'll be 4 halves, divide by 2, 2 halves. Looks like an easy counting problem. 1 half, 2 halves, 3 halves, 4 halves, and 5 halves. All right, what's the amplitude of this? 2, and there's a shifting of it down by 3. All right, so what I'm going to do is, you know, put the points in, all right, and make sure I'm doing what I said I'm going to be doing, which is starting at a half. And I want to do that. And I'm going to say, let me just be careful about this. I got to be careful. All right. I'm kind of just doing some characteristic points over here. But I do want to start where I said I was going to start. And I said I was going to start at 1 half. So let me put this down. Then we'll put the other numbers down. Just put the x down. 1 half. This is going to be 2 halves. This is going to be 3 halves. This is going to be 4 halves. This is going to be 5 halves. This is going to be 6 halves. All right. What do you get over here? Oh, you're, counting, you're counting backwards by half, so it's just zero. What's this over here? Minus one half. And what's this over here? Minus two halves. All right, let's put the other numbers down. All right, I got the, I got the abscissas down. Let me put the ordinate down now. And it should be relatively simple to do that. All right, so, I mean, start wherever you want to start. I'm going to start at a half, though. Like, I like to start there. And again, if you put a half there, you get sine of a half of zero. Two times zero is zero. You get minus three. So I'm ready to put down minus three now here. Now, by the way, I'm ready to put down minus three in these points over here as well. Very simple. All right. Now let's do, I don't know, let's go to uh, two halves. All right. Go back up here, plug in two halves. What do you get? Well, two halves minus uh, one half is one half pi. And sine of one plus one. So you get two minus three, which is minus one. So I'm pretty comfortable this is minus one here. Again, relatively simple to put down. All right, let's do the other number, which is uh, 4 halves. All right? What happens at 4 halves? Well, that would be 3 pi over 2. The sign of 3 pi over 2 is minus 1. And now we give you minus 2 minus 3, which is minus 5. All right, let's draw a picture in. I'm going to change the color here. And make sure I'm putting in two cycles. And that's 1. Yeah, we got two cycles. We're doing okay. Thank you.